The Weather Now Camera Network, powered by Mr. Quick and Train. You go, Blue. He's working his way up. Yeah, Alaska. he's probably having an impact. <laughs> he is, he is. And what will have an impact tonight? A little wintry mix. It's not overwhelming right now. We've had just some very fine light snow. And then we transition to a little freezing rain. And then that's a lot of that's <laughs> later kind of tonight. We're well, racing ourselves. No, like so a lot of us will be just, you know, you'll be in position. You'll be going to sleep, right? And okay, so that happens, and then we wake up to some rain. All right, let's show you uh, the big picture here. I start with the country. Now, watch this little strip from northeast Missouri across northern Illinois, extreme northern Indiana into lower Michigan. That will be all snow where temperatures stay colder there. If you're trying to travel to Chicago or north of South Bend or north of Fort Wayne, you'll run into this area, a strip of six inches or more of snow. It drops rapidly as you come to the south, snowfall potential, because we're going to see that wintry mix and warmer air take over. Although we've had some light snow and snow showers, you can see they're intermittent, not a solid area here, and it's north half of the state right now where we're getting a lot of this. It stretches back into central Illinois. The movement to the north and east, which means I think most of the activity, at least the next few hours, will be northern half of the state. I jump to 11. See the multiple colors here? The blue, light snow. Here's your wintry mix where we may see freezing rain, even a little sleet. Then the rain to the south as we go through the overnight hours. So this will come into central Indiana. Here we are at 2 o'clock in the morning. The light freezing rain and sleet, snow to the north, and then the warmer air will take over. During the day tomorrow, temperatures climb above 40. You've got your rain snow line all the way to the Michigan state line, which means improvement across the entire viewing area. The advisory ends at 10 a.m., uh, assuming that these temperatures will be above freezing. And then a quick shot back to a wintry mix before all this pulls away tomorrow night. Then we get to rest up Sunday and Monday and start to focus on that storm potential Tuesday and Wednesday. We're at 34 now and it's not windy. Winds are, are calm right now. Temperatures mid-20s in Lafayette and Peru to 40 in Bloomington, 44 in Evansville. Road trip, if you want to see what that feels like. It's been a long time we've been that warm. 35 in the morning. What will happen? Temperatures between now and midnight or 1 in the morning will drop. Then we'll actually slowly come back up and you can see most areas is almost to the freezing mark or above, which means we transition back rather quickly to all rain. It becomes breezy, that south wind tomorrow carrying temperatures above average, 39 by noon, south wind at 15, and then rain likely as we get to the afternoon hours. Biggest question still for central Indiana is how much warmer air will be drawn into next Tuesday's weather system, and that will have an impact on a wintry mix potential across central Indiana. I want you to see the seven-day planner, and you'll see temperatures as we get to Tuesday upper 20s to low 30s, and that warmer air may bring a wintry mix as far north as Interstate 70. That's going to have a big impact on snowfall potential, how much we may see. Right now, it looks like Indy Northwest, the heavier snow, right along Interstate 70 on the edge. That's okay. why it's so important to stay tuned. Yes. Exactly. Thank you. Thank Kevin. you, Kev.